Buying your first Astro imaging camera is a really exciting time and one that every astrophotographer remembers, but it can also be a confusing one. Buying the camera was challenging enough, but there's a whole bunch more questions to ask and get answers for. What software should I install to make it run? Should I buy something or just download a free program? Will all the cables be in the box? Do I need adapters to connect it to my telescope? And all these things are likely running through your head before the cameras even arrived on the doorstep. Well, luckily if you purchase a camera from ZWO, they offer a great little all-in-one astro imaging package called ASI Studio. This free to download suite of software is perfect for your first steps in imaging and will provide all you need to get you going. It's also very underrated and ignored, so let's see if we can change that as it's really a great little package. So stick around, I'll show you how to install the software required to get your computer to recognize your new camera, and then how to set it up and capture your first images. Hey everybody, my name's Simon, welcome to AstroWorks, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy, full of hints and tips on how to get the best out of this amazing hobby. Now, the ASI Studio Suite is a great little collection of astro imaging applications free to download from the ZWO website. The suite contains software for deep sky and planetary image capture, and also subsequent video and deep sky stacking and some simple image adjustment tools. There's some handy tools thrown in on top of it, like ASI Fits Viewer. Now, ASI Studio is available as a download for PC, Mac, and Linux from the ZWO website, and it's free, making it a pretty amazing bundle. ASI Studio isn't meant to replace some of the bigger, more advanced imaging tools on the market, but it does offer a simple and easy to use and free set of software to welcome you to the world of astro imaging using your new ZWO camera. For the more advanced imager, they also offer a quick and easy set of tools to use if you want something out of the box to use with little configuration required. It's also the standard tool set used by the ZWO support teams for testing, so if you ever need to reach out to the ZWO team for help, it's most likely they'll ask you to download and test using this. It's as simple as and easy as you can get for imaging and doesn't rely on other software, so it's really worthwhile getting to know. Plus, these add-on tools are really handy. ASI Studio allows control of ASI cameras from the ZWO range, including planetary, cooled, and uncooled cameras. It also supports accessories like the EFW electronic filter wheels, the AAF focus motor, and mount control too, if you own the little AM5 harmonic drive mount. So let's take a quick look at each of these programs in the ASI Studio collection and what they're aimed at. In our subsequent videos, we'll show you how to use these and also how to process and capture your first images. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our helpful guides. And while you're at it, give that like button a thump as well so we know that this video was useful to you. For planetary images, the normal approach is to record a video stream from your camera and then stack the individual video frames to create a final image. ASI Cap is the tool of choice here and will provide the ability to capture video to your computer, control your AM5 mount and any accessories like filter wheels or focuses. Once you've captured your video, you can use ASI Video Stack to process your video frames and save these to a final image. It's a pretty simple set of tools to make your first planetary imaging session simple, fun, and easy to do. For deep sky capture, you can choose to capture frames for processing when back in the warmth using the ASI image application, or you can stack multiple frames live under the stars using the ASI live package, using these to build a more detailed picture of your chosen target. ASI image provides capture of single or multiple frames for later processing, while ASI Live is a great program for capturing multiple frames and then stacking these while imaging so you can see the object you're imaging build in depth as you add more data with each frame. For processing deep sky images back in the warmth, you can use ASI Deep Stack, so create a stacked image from the frames captured to your computer, using some of the simple tools to process your image to share with others. Another application in the suite that is often overlooked is called ASI Fits View. FITS files are the common format for astrophotography images. These are raw, unprocessed frames, perfect for stacking. ASI FITS view is an awesome little tool for reading the header of the file. It includes data such as time, date, and camera configurations. These are sometimes needed by processing software and also handy if you forget some of the parameters you use during capture. 
If you ever think there's something wrong with the data captured from your camera, SI fits for you is an easy to use package. It'll allow you to quickly look at the data without diving into your full blown processing software. The final package in the suite is new and quite an exciting one if you own a small ZWO planetary camera with that little wide angle lens. I'm sure you've looked at it many times and thought how fun it would be to have it monitor the skies for objects like meteors. Did you know that the bottom of these cameras has tripod screw holes in them? Next time you have the camera in your hand, flip it over and take a look at them. To help you set up that all sky camera, ZWO created ASI Meteor Cap. This fun little app turns your planetary camera into an all sky meteor monitor. You can set it to trigger recording when it detects a meteor and even do things like masks so that it ignores details on the ground like roads or next door's porch lights. It's a really fun little tool and allows you to use that all sky lens and create something really useful. Now let's look at your first installation of ASI Studio and also the drivers for your camera so your PC recognizes it. The best place to look for any official software related to ZWO cameras is on the software section of the ZWO website. Here you can find drivers, firmware updates and supporting applications and it's definitely the place to go for your new camera. Before we install ASI Studio, I highly recommend you install the USB drivers for your new camera. These are small pieces of software that allow our computers to recognize the cameras. For PCs, you can download and install the drivers under the Windows section in the software page. For Mac and Linux, most cameras are recognized natively by computers, so you may not need to do anything for these, but do check the relevant operating system section under software for those devices. To install your camera, simply download and run the USB driver package from the website. Once you have the required USB drivers installed, your computer will now recognize your camera when plugged in. Now, if you're using a cooled camera, please note that since early 2022, these cameras also need 12 volts connected as well as the USB cable to be recognized. Do make sure you have 12 volts handy before you start. If you don't have power connected to a cooled camera, it may not be recognized when plugged in, and you'll also get exposure errors when you try and download an image. For the ASI Studio installation, you can download the install file that matches your particular flavor of computer. In this case, we're using a PC, so go ahead and download the file and run the installer. Now you can plug the camera into the computer and open ASI Studio and choose the program that best suits your needs for planetary or deep sky imaging. Capture applications should recognize the camera that you've got connected in the drop down box and you can click the small connect icon to launch the camera controls. Congratulations, you've got your camera connected to the ASI Studio Suite ready to image. You can go ahead and connect your filter wheel and the EAF focus motors without installing any further software. Mount controls also available for within the ASI Studio Suite. This feature is only available to users of the AM5 though, and other mounts are not supported at this time. Alan and I created Astroworks to create videos like this, so newcomers and intermediate images like you have the knowledge at hand to make you more successful in what can be times a very technically challenging hobby. If you like what we do and you want to see more of this kind of material, then we highly recommend you subscribe so that we can notify you of new content as soon as we publish it. We're also very keen to hear of any particular topic, problem or issue you'd like to see featured. And do give that like button a thumb so we know this video hit the mark with you. The ASI Studio package is a really great set of programs to use if you're a beginner, intermediate, or a more advanced imager. And it's really fabulous value being their princely sum of free. It's also useful getting to know how it works as ZWO will ask you to install it if you need camera support at any time. It's a great test tool as you can't get any simpler than this and is a great baseline for fault finding more complex software packages. If you think your camera is at fault, then do check it using ASI Studio first. Here's a top tip. The histogram will also show if all three color channels are present. This is a regular help desk problem where users think their camera has lost a channel. Usually it's a processing configuration or debayer setting at fault. But ASI Studio is a great help when fault finding. And don't forget that little ASI Fits Viewer either. It's a really awesome little tool and I dig into this one so often when I want to check files on my PC. It's really worth installing just for that little tool alone. We are preparing a set of complementary videos that covers planetary imaging, capture and processing, and deep sky imaging, capture and processing, and how to live stack using the ASI Studio applications. So hit that subscribe button, you'll get notified as soon as we publish them. 
Look out for more of us from AstroWorks here, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy. Until next time, I'm Simon, you've been watching AstroWorks, and we wish you clear skies from New Zealand.